I want to thank you very much for investing your precious time, energy, and attention with me here tonight. You made a wise decision, and I promise it, it's going to be very well worth your time and your energy. Now, you're definitely in the right place tonight if you are a an experienced real estate investor with 10 or more deals under your belt and you're looking for a way to turn one or more of any of your negative cash flowing properties into real cash flow winners, winning deals, while at the same time virtually eliminating the normal landlord headaches of dealing with those dreaded terrible T's, the tenants and the toilets. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. You're also in the right place if you are a novice investor. So that's somebody with a few deals under your belt and you're either stuck in your investing right now or um, you don't have enough properties under your belt to really create a full-time income and you're getting out to that point where you realize that doing it the way you're doing it, you're going to need dozens and dozens if not a hundred or more doors to get the cash flow you need to quit your J-O-B and that's kind of a daunting task for you. And some of, uh, Don't worry, this will cover that too. Some of my most successful to date were in that position and in less than a year they've created phenomenal incomes for themselves and their families. Or C, another category of folks that you're definitely in the right place, is if you're a brand new real estate investor just getting started out in the game, what I'm going to show you here is going to fit in beautifully with virtually any kind of real estate game plan you've got in mind. And I'll show you how to get involved even if you're short on cash, credit, and investors. So before I jump into all of this, let me tell you a little bit about myself and my background. If you're not already familiar with me, uh, we're going to be spending some time together. So it's important for you to know why you should even listen to me. So, like I said, uh, it's Dave DeBow. I'm known by many as Canada's number one rent to own author, trainer, and speaker. And my first real estate claim to fame came between 2003 and 2005, where I did 18 flips in 18 months. I currently have a sixplex and a commercial building. And since 2010, I've been focused pretty much exclusively on rent to own real estate investing. I've had the pleasure of working with Canadian rich dad Darren Weeks and I helped him to grow his fast track group of companies to the profit 100 list of fastest growing companies in Canada, not once, not twice, but three years in a row. I've had the privilege of training thousands of Canadian real estate investors over the years, uh, training with Darren Weeks, training with Ken Beaton, and I've had the pleasure of sharing the stage with people like Robert Kiyosaki, Ken McElroy, Big George Foreman, the boxer, billionaire Bill Bartman, Dragon's Den and Shark Tank, Robert Herjavec, Dragon's Den, uh, Matriarch Arlene Dickinson and others. I've written a couple of books on real estate investing. The first one was Creative Real Estate Investing for Canadians, which I wrote with my good friend Ken Beaton, who has uh, over 120 doors in his portfolio. And my newest book is Rent Owned Profits for Canadians, which I wrote with my big brother Dan Dubo, who is also a professional real estate investor who focuses 100% on rent to own in Halifax. I'm blessed with a beautiful, healthy family. My wife Susie, my daughter Amy, my son Andy. We live in a nice house. We have nice vehicles. We travel usually six to eight weeks a year. And I'm very, very privileged to basically be able to do what I want, when I want, and how I want to do it. Now, I'm not saying this to brag. I just want to kind of give you a little bit of a background because it's always important to if you're listening to somebody, ideally they've got something or they're doing something that you want to accomplish. They've already led the way and hopefully I've done that for you. But I have to tell you, I have not always been as successful as I am now. I remember back in 2003, I'd been living for almost 13 years in Latin America. I had a successful language training business in Costa Rica, which I ran for 10 years. And my wife and I decided to move the family back to Canada and I had to start all over again from the bottom, from scratch. I had very little money. I hadn't sold the business in Costa Rica. I had zero credit. I was starting over right from the bottom because I had left right out of university. I had no job and basically I was unemployable. I've been self-employed for, for so many years and you know, uh, basically asinine degree in psychology and not much other experience. So I didn't have any really good job prospects and I didn't have any contacts because we, we moved to Kamloops, BC. So before I moved everybody down here, I came in a few months ahead before, before the wife and the kids to find us a place to live. And I was actually staying in a rooming house for a couple of months while I was getting my uh, feet on the ground. 
Now, back in Costa Rica, I'd owned my own house and my office building, and I naively thought it would be easy to get financing to buy a home in Canada. And I can still vividly remember uh, going into the bank and chatting with the bank manager and listening to them snicker behind my back after he turned me down for a mortgage. Told me basically to come back in a couple of years if my new business made it and I had a credit rating that even showed up on the radar. I tell you, I walked out of there, I felt humiliated, felt like a failure, and more than anything, I was pissed off. <laughs> so I didn't let that stop me. I bought a crappy old Dodge Caravan minivan. Ooh, that baby was sexy. I think it was purple. <laughs> and ended up renting a house in a not-so-great part of town. Had to buy some furniture at the Salvation Army, and that is what I moved my family into. It was a rental house with <laughs> Salvation Army furniture. Needless to say, that was a bit of a shock for my poor wife, Susie. Uh, she was used to living to, in, in our own nice home in Costa Rica. Heck, we even had a full-time maid and a part-time gardener when they were down there. So it was a major, major change of lifestyle. So in spite of that experience uh, with the bank, I thought the real estate investing would definitely be a good way to create income, a way to create my own uh, profession, my own job, if you would. And knowing that I wouldn't get any financing with the bank and not being very smart about using other people's money, I didn't understand the whole idea of getting investors on board. I bought one of those late night TV American how to get rich in real estate with no money down courses from one of those late night infomercials. All in all, I ended up spending over $10,000 in different real estate courses, American courses, and I had to Canadianize it all to make it work up here. I'd love to be able to say, hey, I just ran into it and everything was just roses and shiny and fantastic right off the bat, but that's not true. I actually went into a lot of debt trying to make things work with my business and keeping up appearances. I can still vividly remember laying awake at night worrying about what would happen if my wife discovered my credit card bills. And I was doing that old trick, juggling different credit cards, paying one credit card bill with a cash advance or another and all this kind of stuff. It really sucked. And while I did do 18 flips in 18 months, not all of those were successful or profitable. But I'll tell you one thing, the ones that worked the best were definitely the rent-to-own deals. And after a couple of years back in Canada, I was able to creatively buy my wife the exact house she wanted, and I had it, and I got it with owner financing. So yeehaw, screw the banks. <laughs> and that's about the same time in 2005 when I met Darren Weeks, Canadian Rich Dad, and started working with him and the Fast Track Group. And I got out of actively investing in real estate for a few years. And that was the time when the, the market really spiked anyhow, so it was getting hard to find smoking hot uh, creative deals at that time. And I created my educational company, which is now called Canadian Profits. And I helped Darren at the same time to be growing his seminar business. It wasn't until 2010 that I met up with... Uh, my big brother Dan at our annual holiday down in Mexico, meeting with, uh, having Christmas with my mom and our, our two families. It was a lot of fun. And he showed me exactly what he was doing, focusing on rent to own in Halifax, how much he was enjoying it, how well he was doing with it. That got me motivated again. So I jumped in and got back involved in 2010 and focusing exclusively on rent to own. So. That's enough about me. Now let's talk about you and why you should want to do anything and everything you can to make it to this January rent own Summit at the end of the month here in Kamloops. So I'm going to shrink this again here a little bit. There you can see my smiling face. You're going to have to excuse me if I'm a little stuffed up, if I have to mute myself from time to time to hack and cough a bit. Uh, I caught the flu on my trip, which is not a not a fun way to play your, uh, spend your vacation and came back roaring back on the airplane trip back home. So it knocked me out for a few days getting back on track, but forgive the snuffles, sneezes, wheezes, and other assorted places there. Okay, so as you can see, and let's see if we have a few more people come on. Yes, we have, so welcome to everybody that's just come on the line. And again, what we're going to do today is I'm just going to give you an overview, a sneak peek preview of what we're going to be doing at the upcoming Rent Home Profit Summit here in beautiful Kamloops, BC. That's happening at the end of this month, the 25th, 26th, 27th of January. And this is a free event if you've already invested in yourself and invested in my Rent Home Cash on Demand system for Canadians, either the 1.0 version, the original version, or more recently, our new and updated 2.0 version. 
If you haven't, if you've invested in the program, you get to come to this event for free, and you can even bring a guest for free as well. And I'll show you exactly how to get organized with that at the end of the um, of our presentation tonight. Also, if you haven't yet invested in the R2O program, we're going to give you an opportunity to do that at a very reduced rate and to be able to come to the event and get the whole um, rent home cash on demand home study program as well. So let's just kind of go through um, the site. This is r2oprofitssummit.com. You can see that up there. And I'm just going to kind of scroll down here and go along there. So that's the top of it. As we go down here, there's a little welcome video which you can click on. I talk a little bit about that. Got the personal message from me. This is basically talking about what I was just uh, just mentioning there, my story. And here's an example of one of my first deals, getting a thousand dollars a month net positive income from one little single family house. You can see it back there where my mouse is. Let's see if I can. No, I can't do it. Where my mouse is there, that little square, funny looking house, single family house is a two bedroom for crying out loud. Good, it must have been a 1940s vintage house. I was it was renting it out to the gentleman for just over $2,400 a month. My gross monthly expenses, mortgage, taxes, insurance, and everything was just under $1,300 a month. Net positive cash flow on this little single family home of over $1,100 a month. $1,112.33 a month from one single little single family home. So how many of those do you need to replace your income or to create a full-time income? I'm going to show you how you can do this with as few as three little deals a year. You can create a full-time income from that. So that's just one of my little deals. Here in Kamloops, there's nothing special about Kamloops. It is a working-class town, 85,000 people. It's not a big city. Property prices aren't crazy. They're a lot lower than some of the other areas in Canada. And typically, the higher the prices, the more money you make. So. If it can work here, it can definitely work anywhere. So why do I love rent to own and why should you as well? Number one, there's a huge demand for this service. And I've heard a few different stats thrown around, but basically uh, the one that really sticks in my mind is approximately 20 to 25 percent of Canadians who can actually afford to pay a mortgage do not qualify for a mortgage right now with a very, very trite, tight lending criteria the Canadian banks have and Mr. Flaherty is making that uh, even more difficult for people so that's increasing demand. We've got all sorts of folks that fit into that category. Self-employed Canadians make up a big chunk of that supposedly 20 percent of all working Canadians and until they've got a very good established track record and financial statements and tax returns in, they aren't going to qualify for a mortgage. New immigrants to the, company, to the country, one of my favorite categories of people to work with, they need some time to establish and develop their credit. Um, people who have gone through financial difficulties, bankruptcy, that's a really common one. And that's not a deal killer. In fact, uh, very happy to work with a lot of people who've gone through bankruptcy if it's one of those kind of like no fault of their own kind of situations. So if they've gone through a divorce and got the crap kicked out of their out of their credit if they've gone through a business bankruptcy and that's just uh, torn them right down, etc. So as long as they haven't been really done with their money, if it's kind of one of these life situations, happy to work with people who've gone through bankruptcies. What's another reason? You virtually eliminate those dreaded T's, tenants and toilet headaches. This is a very, very, very different kind of a rental situation. Yes, it is rent owned. Yes, it is a lease with an option to purchase. However, the mentality, the mindset of your tenant is completely different. That's why we don't even call these folks tenants. We call them our rent to own clients. They are really homeowners in training. They're not typical tenants. They see this property as their own home, as a place that they're going to raise their family, as what's going to be their house in the next couple of years. So they are already treating it as their own home even before they're actually on title. It's a beautiful thing. They're also responsible for the maintenance and the upkeep, the way we structure our deals. And if it goes wrong with the house, they have to pay for it, not you or I as the owner or the investor. So that virtually eliminates all those typical you know, whiny tenant problems or 3 a.m. plug toilet problems. If the toilet plugs up, that's their problem. they got to get it fixed. Now, we'll see over here on the left, and again, I'm going through the, the website that talks all about the Rent Home Profit Summit, r2oprofitsummit.com. 
over here on the left, I suggest you watch these videos. Uh, they're a lot of fun, but they're more important than being fun. They're educational and very inspirational. This video to the left here is uh, Malcolm and Janelle Setter and their partner Samantha from Fort McMurray. And these kids have just done amazing things with rent -own. And in fact, Malcolm and Chanel quit their combined job incomes of over $375,000 a year, $375K, and they're young kids, young couple, you can see that. They quit those jobs to focus 100% on rent own. Now, they haven't replaced that income with the rent own yet, but they're on their way and they love the freedom of being able to do what they want, when they want, how they want to do it, and who they want to do it with. So, long and the short of it is, doesn't matter how much money you're making. If you hate, hate your crappy job, life's too short. It's not worth it. So this is giving them a way to move ahead and do what they really want to do. Uh, another testimonial here, Gary Levesque as well. And reason number three I love rent own is you get an exponentially higher cash flow than you do with traditional buy and hold rentals. I'm talking about five to ten times as much cash flow. So with a my, as my good friend and mentor and, and partner Ken Beaton says, you know, he's shooting for getting $50 to $75 a month net positive cash flow from his rental properties. Pretty tough to make a full-time income with that low of a cash flow. It's okay for Ken, he's, he's got 120 doors or so $75 or $100 a month per door, that's pretty good, but if you've got five, six, seven doors, you're a long ways off. So. How about getting $500, $800, even $1,000 or more per month net positive cash flow from just one little rent to own home? That's what this whole program is all about, showing you how to do that. And with just two or three of those little deals a year, you can create the equivalent of a full-time income. What is that? Well, according to statistics, the average family income in Canada is just under $70,000 a year. Let's say that you're doing rent own deals where you're making on average $35,000 per deal. Okay? And that's kind of low. So let's say you're getting uh, 15, 10 to $15,000 option fee, non refundable option fee up front for each deal, and you're getting approximately $1,000 a month um, for, a, a rental, for a rental spread for your net income from that. Well, if you're doing three deals a year, Let's say that you're getting, on average, ten to fifteen thousand dollars option fee from each one of those. That's thirty to forty-five thousand dollars right there, just from that. And with three deals at three a thousand dollars a month per deal, that's three thousand dollars a month, thirty-six thousand dollars a year in ongoing income as well. So if you do three of those a year, you're right up there at the uh, seventy-five to one hundred thousand dollars a year mark just from doing that. Okay, so exponentially higher cash flow than you do with traditional rental. Number four, there's an excellent profit, plus you're in and out of the deals quickly. Very, very important. Traditional buy and hold is great for long-term wealth creation, very important, but it's that, it's just that, it's long-term. You're looking at 5, 7, 10, 15, 20, 25 years out. With rent tone, the way we do it, we're looking at two to three year deals. You're in there, you're out fairly quickly, and the most important thing is, You've got a very good idea up front of what your profit margin is going to be and what your exact numbers are. You know how much you paid for it today. You know how much you're going to be selling it for in two or three years. It's a lot easier for you to calculate your, your actual profits getting in and getting out and your cash flow as well. Here's one of my favorite testimonials or success stories. This is Sheldon Dietz. When you go to the site, definitely click on this. Check this out. This gentleman is just rocking and rolling with his rent to own business. Uh, six deals in less than one year. Most of those deals he was getting the, the normal, you know, ten to fifteen thousand dollar option fee. But with two of his deals, he actually hit it out of the park. One of them, he got forty thousand dollars up front as a non-refundable option fee. Forty thousand dollars, and that wasn't doing anything tricky. That was with his rent-to-own client wanting to do that, actually asking to do that. So Sheldon obliged. On the other deal. He got seventy thousand. That's seven zero seventy thousand dollars up front as a non-refundable option fee on on this one deal. So he just bats all the records <laughs> right out of the park with those ones. He's doing phenomenally well. He works full time. 
He has uh, way, way, way more family responsibilities than most of the rest of us, I'm sure about that. And he's still just kicking butt with his rental business and doing amazing things. So um, great profit margin there. Watch that video. Highly recommend it. It's very, very informational, very inspirational as well. Number five, here's one of my favorite things about the rent home business. And one of the things that I noticed that my most successful students love the most about this and what attracts most of my students to this uh, business as well is that it, it truly is a win-win-win way of doing real estate investing if you do it properly. So who wins? Well, your rent home client wins because they're able to get into a house that they like, that they pick, that they want, that they choose way years sooner than they'd be able to if they're doing it on their own. They've been turned down by the bank. They've been told, no, you can't have a house. We're helping them get into a home and getting them lined up for financing to buy it from us. So they are just so grateful because there's nobody else out there that will do this for them. So they win. Our investors win. If we're working with investors, our investors get all of the benefits of being a real estate investor without any of the headaches of being a landlord. So they're making a very good return on their investment without having to have hands-on involvement with anything. So they're very, very happy about that as well. And then obviously you and I as the rent owned investors, the deal makers, we're thrilled because we're making very good money up front during the deal and a nice little pop of cash at the end of the deal as well, all for making these win-win transactions go together. So it's a win-win way of doing business. Everybody comes out ahead. Plus, you don't have to be stealing stealing houses from uh, poor little old ladies or anything like that. There's nothing sleazy or underhanded about this. If you do it the right way, if you do it the way I teach you to do it. All right? So, meet Dave DeBow, author, real estate trainer. We already talked a little bit about that. A little bit of the background about myself. Well, again, so what I did mention is I'm a huge, huge, huge believer in ongoing education, uh, keeping ahead of the curve, knowing what you're doing, finding out what's uh, what the leading edge is. So I've invested well over $180,000 in my own ongoing training and coaching, mostly through the Glazer Kennedy organization, where I was a member of their top-level titanium mastermind group for three years. Uh, met a lot of very, very sharp people and some very astute real estate investors as well. So uh, big, I'm a huge believer in investing in myself in order to keep sharp, get ahead, and not just that, but the people that you meet at these kind of seminars and presentations and things like that, not only can they become really good friends, but they can become amazing joint venture partners as well. So click here to he hear what these folks think of the rent own Summit. So we've got some great testimonials there, lots of fun to listen there, and just to hear real people like yourself, what they think about this event. Now, I have to tell you, this might tick a few people off, but frankly, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I am really, really pissed off at certain rent-to-own trainers, trainers, in parenthesis, that are out there in the market uh, right now, because there are, I won't mention any names, but there are some real um, sleazy characters out there doing things that, uh, frankly, just make me sick. So be very, very careful who you're getting trained from. There are a few real estate agents out there masquerading as rent-to-own experts. There are some good ones out there who are actual rent-to-own experts, but you have to have to really check them out. But there are a few guys out there who claim that they are uh, rent-to-own educators and deal makers. And what they do is they will educate people partly, kind of incompletely, but what they're really trying to do is they're trying to match their students with deals. So they'll find a student, get them kind of quasi-trained up, uh, see that they can qualify for a mortgage, and they will find a tenant buyer, and they will put the two of them together. They will find the house. They'll buy the house. They'll, they'll sell the house to the student. They will keep a good chunk of the option fee up, up front as their fee. Uh, they'll probably charge higher than normal real estate fees to get the deal going. And then once they put the deal together, off they go. Uh, to do some, uh, something, the same thing with another student. Now, on the surface, that doesn't sound that bad, but here's the challenge. The challenge is they don't have any ongoing interest in the deal. So once they put the deal together, got their money, they're gone. They're out of there. And the biggest problem with that is it makes the temptation 
to put crappy deals together, very, very heavy for them because it's all a numbers game for them. All right? On the other hand, what I'm doing with this program is I am educating you on how to do your own deals. I am not providing you with uh, investors. I'm not providing you with uh, potential rental clients. I'm showing you how to do the, the whole business from start to finish, from A to Z, so you don't have to rely on folks like that so that you can put your own deals together and control them and really sort, filter, and pre-screen your prospective rented own clients very, very carefully so you don't get screwed over. Very, very important. So beware of the shady guys out there that give the rest of us a bad reputation. So if you just come away with one thing from tonight's presentation, that's it. It's definitely, definitely worth your time. Okay. So that's what this is all about, is showing you Canada's number one, most complete, most in-depth rent tone training. It's the best that I've seen, and I've looked at a lot of it, um, and I take you by the hand and show you exactly how I do the business and how others, just like you, do the business as well and are having great success. So again, you can watch all these different, uh, all these different testimonials. So what's included with this? So we've got the <laughs> Rent Tone Profits two-day summit. That's incorrect. It's a three-day summit. So... This is actually the third time that I'm going to be putting on the Rent Own Profit Summit. We do it approximately every six months. Uh, we've done two of them already, and they were two-day events, and they were great. However, I felt like it was too rushed. I felt like two days just was not enough time to really give you, um, present the material in a way that is as high impact, as memorable, as interactive as possible, so that it really sticks with you, and when you go home, You've got a master plan of what to do, how to do it, and how to get started with it. So that's why I've expanded this to three A's to give us the time that we need together to be able to really learn this stuff, really get to know each other well, really network and get to know the other members well as, uh, additionally, and to make sure that you understand the information as completely as humanly possible in a three-day format. So that's why we've expanded that. So I'm very excited about that. This is the first time we're going to be doing it for a three-day uh, event and I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, so if you're not currently a cash on demand system student, you can join up for this, come out to the event and we're going to include the original home study uh, rent on cash on demand system. Actually we're going to give you the upgraded 2.0 version as part of that. So we'll talk about that. But first of all, let's talk about what we're going to actually be covering at the event. Excuse me, I'll have a little sip of tea there. Big shout out to my man Wagner. Thanks, buddy, for all your help. Appreciate having you on the line as usual. He's he's a guy that keeps things going, gets it recorded, and make sure I keep on track. So couldn't do without you, buddy. Thanks. So our regular session, session number one, we're going to be going in depth over the fundamentals, the basics, the building blocks of your and own business. So how to get up and running quickly, starting from scratch, part time or full time, you choose with or without investors, with or without much cash, credit, or um, or uh, investors in your pocket as well. So what kind of business structure do you want to have? If you're going to do a sole proprietorship and corporation, partnerships, pros and cons, all that kind of good stuff. Big thing, your rent-to-own power team. The people that you absolutely have to have as part of your team to be successful in this business. And I'll give you a hint, we provide some of these folks for you if you so desire. Realtors uh, and what they do for you, how you can work with them, how they can work for you. Mortgage brokers, what kind, where to find them, how to leverage them to bring you ideal clients on a silver platter. Your legal team, your lawyers, what kind of lawyer to look for. Home inspectors, very important, especially here in beautiful BC, Bud, British Columbia. Got to be careful for those grow ups. Credit repair experts, this is very, very important. Or credit repair coaches or counselors. The people that will help you get your rent to own client qualified for financing at the end of the deal. Plus the tools of the trade, what you need uh, or what you should have to start with to get some business up and running quickly. And don't worry, it's nothing expensive. Uh, telephone line, cell phone, computer, you're pretty much there. Okay, again, excuse me, got a little bit of a cold, so I'm stuffed up, so I have to, I don't want to be hacking at you, so I'm having a drink of tea here every once in a while. So that's the first session, the, the fundamentals, going more in-depth into that. Session number two, your rent-to-own marketing. So as you know, my passion is all about the marketing, so this, this is one of my favorite parts. 
going to show you all of the fun stuff that we do with our rental business, uh, online and old school offline stuff as well. So everybody's infatuated with online advertising and marketing. It is huge. However, there's still some great things that we do offline that are super duper effective, low cost, uh, some of them no cost that you can do that will make a big difference and be, give you a huge competitive uh, lead on anybody else doing rent owned in your area. So that's session number two is all about that. Session number three, pre-screening your rent owned clients. This is very, very important. Once you get your marketing up and going, you can literally, as many of our students have experienced, get a flood of people coming to your website, filling out applications, opting in. You'll get a lot of folks coming in. So you need to know how to quickly pre-screen, sift, sort, and filter, and figure out who's your are your A prospects, the ones you really want to get a hold of and, and start talking with as quickly as possible, B prospects, the ones that look good, but not quite sure about and the C prospects folks that you're probably just not going to be able to work with. The sift, the sooner and easier and, and faster you can figure out how to do that, which we're going to show you how to do, the easier your business is because it is a numbers game. You're going to get a lot of applications coming in. That doesn't mean you're going to be able to work with all of those people. If you remember Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, do you remember what his um, ratio was of how many properties to look at before you get a deal? He was talking about he'd look, he'd analyze 100 properties, make offers on 10, go back and forth on three, and probably close one deal. Well, it's very, very similar, I found, with rent own, uh, prospective rent own clients. You have to go through a lot of them to find the diamond in the rough who you can actually work with and who you want to work with. So the, the faster and sooner you can sift and sort, or, sort out those 90-some to get to those 10 that you really want to focus on, which is what we're going to show you how to do, the better. Okay, then we can automate a lot of this to make it a lot easier for you. Second number four, financials and paperwork. How do the numbers work? How does the, the profit situation in a rent to own deal work? What are the different profit scenarios for different kinds of rent to own deals? You've got traditional rent to own, where you are a an investor, a landlord who already owns the property, you're gonna be selling it on rent to own basis. So how do you develop and and decide upon your profits for that kind of a deal? Uh, we've got Sandwich leases, which is where you uh, get together and you put together a deal between a motivated seller and a rent-owned client, and you're in the middle as the deal maker, and the, the good stuff in the middle, making it happen, uh, the, the middle part of the sandwich. How do you figure out the, the profit on those kind of deals? And then, of course, our client first rent-owned method, which is our preferred way. How do you look at the numbers and and do that for those kind of deals as well? Then we'll also be going over the legal paperwork, the contracts, how to fill it out, what they look like. Uh, what you need to do, uh, what you need to encourage your rental clients to do before they jump into this deal, all of that we're going to be covering in this session, session number four. Okay. Then once you've found a grade A ready to go rental client, now the fun begins. Now we send them out to go house shopping, probably with your friendly realtor. We we're showing you how to work with realtors, how to make money to get half of your real estate agents commission and have them happy to give it to you that's a huge extra bonus income source from doing these kind of deals the way I'm going to show you how to do just your first deal the half half of the commission that you're going to be getting from your realtor far more than pays for this entire course so that's a little hidden trick that nobody else shows you how to do I'm going to show you how to do that as well so buying a home sending them out with your realtor uh, what to look for, what kind of homes to look for, what kind of homes to avoid like the plague. You've got the big four that you never want to touch. Go in depth about that as well. How to negotiate the deal, how to get a, uh, a good deal on the property, how to renegotiate the deal after you've had the home inspection, get the, either get stuff fixed up or get the pri price of the property down a bit. All these kind of uh, tips and tricks. And then obviously also during the deal, how to manage your client during the deal to make sure that you're getting them qualified uh, for financing at the end. This is the number one area I see most uneducated rent owned investors screwing up the most. And that is they go through all the time, trouble, effort, expense, work of putting together a deal and then the deal's up and going and they put their hands back, they kind of sit back in the chair, relax a little bit, kick the feet up and say, hey, 
it's easy street now, no need to worry, the deal's, the deal's going. Um, and that's when they screw up because they don't babysit their client. They don't set up a plan for the rental client at the beginning to help them to succeed. And then at the end of the deal, they find out, hey, the guy still doesn't qualify for a mortgage. Ooh, now what? Okay, then you've got to either evict the person, extend the deal, do all this kind of stuff. It's a mess for everybody. I'm going to show you how to avoid that, how to do it right, and how to get it done for you if you so choose, which is probably the smartest thing to do. Session number six, here's the one for uh, those folks that uh, want to or decide to get into rental with none of their own money down, none of their credit being uh, involved whatsoever, no need for investors at all, and how to do it with virtually no cost and no risk. That is sandwich leases, our A to Z method of doing that. So um, again, this is just a great way of hooking up motivated sellers with good quality rent home clients, making the deal happen and making phenomenal cash flow and profits on properties you don't even own. Okay, so we've got also got, in addition to those normal six components of the program, we've got four special bonus sections. So if you've been to one of the rental and profit summits before, this one's going to be completely different. The basic modules are going to be similar, although I'm going to make it a lot more interactive, a lot more interesting this time because we've got more time. But these special four bonus sessions are completely new something you haven't seen before. So bonus session number one, myself, and probably with some help from a good friend and, and uh, helper, Wagner Cardoso as well, talking about automating your rent-to-own business. So this is especially important in two cases, in the case, well, in, in all cases actually, but especially if you want to be doing this full-time, which I encourage you to do, I'm sorry, if you want to be doing this part-time, which I encourage you to do if you're working at a full-time job right now, you need to be able to automate and delegate as much of this as possible. And the second thing is, if you want to be uh, doing part-time efforts to create full-time income, this is definitely what you need to be doing. So I'm going to show you what we do here at BC Rent to Buy to automate and delegate everything as we as much as we possibly can. Plus, we're going to be looking at some other examples of other investors and the smart things that they're doing to automate and delegate things in their businesses to make it a lot easier. Session number two, bonus session number two, mystery guests. Now, I've got a silhouette of a gentleman there, but I'm going to give you a hint. This is actually a female uh, presenter who's going to be presenting uh, this section. It's all about attracting investors to you. So how do you get investors and structuring your deals with your investors for rent to own? And this uh, lady is very, very sharp. Uh, just getting you to know her now, but I've known of her for uh, several years now. Very, very sharp person. Really looking forward to seeing this presentation. I know you will as well. So that's, I'm going to leave that as mystery. There's got to be a little bit of mystery going on. Got to be a little bit of suspense happening. And then uh, we've got session number three. It says Dave and Dan Dubow. That's actually probably mostly me. Actually, we might Skype in my big brother Dan as well. Rent to own worst case scenarios and solutions. So this is something that people ask me, well, Dave, what happens if you're halfway through the deal? and your client gets divorced and everything goes to crap. Okay, that's bad. What happens if <laughs> if you're halfway through the deal and your client gets a job somewhere else or just something goes wrong, they trash the place and they leave. Okay, that's bad too. What happens if your client does everything they're supposed to do and at the end of the deal, property prices have not increased and uh, the house isn't worth as much as you got agreed upon for them to buy for it. So they can't get a mortgage for the for the full price. What do you do there? All right, well, these are all, what do you do if the banks won't recognize the option fee and the rental credits? What do you do in those situations? Well, these are all kind of worst case scenarios. And you may be happy to know that I've been through most of them. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I don't know how happy I am about that, but it's good learning experience to be able to pass on my experience to you. So I'll share my experience of what I'm doing uh, with you as well as the experience of other people as well so that if you do, not if you do, you will come up with one of these worst case scenarios if you get serious about the business. It's just going to happen. Nothing is 100% a, a perfect all of the time. Things go awry. If it were just a, a cake, complete cakewalk, anybody would do it and everybody would be doing it. But no, this is, this is a, a serious business and there are problems at times. Time. So we're going to go through the worst case scenarios and give you the solutions. So when you do come up against one of these, you'll know what to do 
you'll have options. All right, so this is a very valuable session that we're going to be doing there. Highly recommend that you come to see that. And then number three again, which I actually shouldn't say number four. So Wagner, hope you, hopefully you're writing notes down here. We've got a few corrections to make on the website. So session number four, Ken Beaton, rent to own and buy and hold. So my good friend Ken, if you're not familiar with him, is one of the most creative gentlemen I know. He focuses a lot on multifamily deals, apartment buildings. He's a co-author with me of Creative Real Estate Investing for Canadians. Very creative, phenomenal trainer. He's just he's coached and mentored hundreds and hundreds of people on getting started in their real estate careers. And I asked Ken, I said, Ken, um, knowing what you know now, you've got these 120 doors, that's great, but knowing what you know now, if you were going to be doing it again differently, is there anything that you'd be doing differently? He said, well, one of the things I'd seriously consider is instead of having 120 doors, figure out a way to have that kind of cash flow but really to create a portfolio that's much smaller but with a lot more equity so that I'm getting the same kind of cash flow from far fewer doors. So in a nutshell, he's going to be showing us how to combine long-term buy and hold with rent to own so that you can be creating your uh, financial fortress, your, your uh, nest egg as it were, your uh, retirement fund or your full-time income uh, uh, business, whatever you like to do, much sooner than later by combining rent to own with traditional buy and, buy and hold. So very excited about that. Ken is one of the smartest guys I know when it comes to real estate investing. Don't tell him I said that. It, it's his ego all big. He starts to puff up his chest and act like a peacock and that sort of thing. But he is. He's a very, very smart guy, great guy, phenomenal trainer. So we're going to have a lot of fun having Ken for the first time at one of our rent-to-own summits. Plus, Ken has uh, a fair bit of experience doing rent-to-own deals as well. So a very, very valuable asset to have here. So we got a few more folks talking about what they liked about the rent-to-own summit. Lots of testimonials, all sorts of great stuff. So again, here's how it works. Let's say uh, you are you've already invested in the cash on demand system for Canadians. So if that's the case you get to come for free to the event. Well, first of all, let's talk about this. Let's say you've, you are, you've, uh, you're a rent to student, you've invested in the program, and you're also an active Canadian Profits Diamond member. What does that mean? That means that you're investing $239 a month to be part of the Diamond program, and you've already bought or invested in the Cash on Demand system. Then you get to come to the event absolutely for free. All you have to do is RSVP with my assistant, Tracy. So look at this yellow box here and either call Tracy or email her at that email address right there to reserve your spot um, for you and a guest absolutely free. Now, if you are a rent own cash on demand system, but you're not a Diamond member, not an active Diamond member, you may be on a trial, but you're not actually investing the 239 a month. Then you can click on the orange button to register. That's going to take you to another page where a nice little video of yours truly is going to pop up eventually. But we're going to pause that because otherwise it's going to get confusing listening to myself talk twice. There we go. All right. So here's how this works. The event is free. However, we really need to know how many people are going to be coming. So there are two ways that you can get involved. You can uh, reserve your spot with a $97 fully refunded seat deposit. That's $97 per person, so you're allowed to bring one guest along with you, and there's no cost. And when you do the receipt deposit, the first day of the event when you show up, I'm going to have a check for you uh, to giving you all of your seat deposit money back. Now, the reason we do the seat deposit is, like I said, we need to know our numbers. We need to know what our seating arrangements are going to be, what we need to do to the hotel, all that kind of stuff. So we need to know ahead of time, and that's why we require the, the seat deposit. When you come, you get all of that money back. However, if you don't show up, you forfeit, forfeit that seat deposit. So that's the first way that you can get involved is just by doing that, uh, that seat deposit. The other option I have is the a $97 VIP meal plan package. So in the past, we were doing lunches for free, which was very, very nice of me, but very, very expensive. Now that we've got a three-day three event, that's getting a little too pricey for a free event. Uh, plus, we're doing dinner on Saturday night as well. So we've got this $97 meal plan package, 
which you can invest in here. And that's per person that gets you lunches for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Should be some sort of a, a buffet lunch each day. There will be vegetarian options if you're a vegetarian. Uh, there's choices for everybody, so it's good food there. Plus, we're going to have a special VIP networking dinner on Saturday night, going out to a nice spot there, and that's going to be included with that as well. And when you invest in the meal package, you do not have to do the seat deposit because we obviously know that you're going to be coming. Okay, but it's your choice. If you want to do lunch on your own and dinner on your own, just do the seat deposit. I would highly recommend that you do the meal plan, much better deal, gets you those three lunches and then dinner. So just click on either one of those. So if you click on the meal plan package just to show you what that looks like. It goes to an online secure form. Just fill that out. If you're going to be bringing a guest, check check that guest thing there. Uh, your billing address, all that kind of stuff, your credit card. It could be a Visa or a MasterCard. And then which one you want, if it's just for yourself, just put one payment of 97 or if it's you and a guest, one payment of 194 and then just uh, do the secure checkout there, and you can order that online. So that's no problem. If you have any problems, uh, give us a shout at the office. Uh, you can call Tracy, or you can call our membership services line. That's going to be available for you as well. Okay? And let's see. If you are not, if you have not already invested in the, uh, in the program, just scroll down to the bottom here. And here's the deal for folks who have not already invested in the cash on demand system. You can click here. This takes you to another secure online uh, order form as well. And what you're going to get is you're going to get the ticket to the rent, the, the upcoming um, January Rental and Profit Summit for you and a guest. Free tickets for, for two of you. Plus, you're going to get uh, immediate access to the new Rental and Cash on Demand. Uh, online training university. You're going to get instant access to that, to all of the training materials right there so you can get going very, very quickly. You're going to get the recordings. Uh, you're going to get the deal calculator software, our legal library, all of our farms, forms, contract, and paperwork. And we've got complete paperwork for British Columbia, Alberta, and Ontario. So that's all set for you. Uh, you've got our rental and dealmaker blueprint, freedom to profit unlimited online coaching. All of the components of our home study, of course, you're going to get that included, plus my 100% money back uh, guarantee. That means you get all of this, and you can try out the whole event until noon of the second day. If you don't like anything for any reason, just let me know. I'll return your materials, and we'll give you a full, friendly, and complete refund. All right? Got some fast action taker bonuses. You can check that all out down there. And that is only $19.97 plus tax, and you can invest in that. <coughs> Excuse me. So I told you I'd have a little coffee attack from time to time. Uh, you can invest in that for just nineteen ninety seven or three payments of seven thirty five, whichever you prefer. All right. So I am uh, just wanted to go do a quick overview of what we're going to be looking at at the upcoming Rent Owns Profit Summit. I am very, very excited about this one. Each each one's been great. The first was a lot of fun because it was the first time we did it. We had a nice small group. It was great. Second time, we had close to 90 people. It was actually too many people, a little bit too big. This time, we're uh, looking at getting about 55, maybe 60 people in there. We've already got 37 uh, people committed that they're coming to the programs. We don't have that many seats left to, to reach our ideal number. Again. Uh, it's going to be a three-day event, January 25th, 26th, 27th, here in beautiful Kamloops. And everything on the site shows you what to do. So uh, the hotel directions, we're going to be at the Ramada in Kamloops. Uh, we've got a special room rate for you guys when you're coming in. Uh, it's a great little place, and you're going to enjoy it a lot. And the event's going to be just a blast. I'm really looking forward to having three solid days to spend with you, to take you right by the hand through the whole rental business show you from A to Z how to do it, get get you up and going. And what I have found is uh, my most successful students, when they really start to kick it into gear, is after they come to this event. This gives them the motivation, the inspiration, the education, the tools they need to really go out and just start kicking butt with this. So like I say, we've already got 37 people who have registered for this. We're looking to get approximately 55 people uh, 
to the event, so that leaves like about 17 seats that we're looking to fill right now. For the first time ever, we're going to be doing this for three days. We've got four fantastic bonus section, sessions for you there. Uh, and I've got a big surprise as well. We're working on Wagner and, and Tracy and I and the, and the whole group here at, at uh, Results Enterprises. We're working on the next big thing for you, which I'm very, very excited to uh, be showing you a way to just take this business and get going at hyperspeed. It's, it's going to be so cool. I can't wait for you to see it. Plus, to just to go through A to Z, how the whole business works. So, um, if you've already invested in the Cash on Demand system program, you are able to come to this for free with a guest. If you haven't invested in this program yet, but you've been thinking about it, now is the time to do it. Uh, the price is right. The guarantee is there. You get to come learn live. You get to hang around with uh, some of the best people in the industry in, in Canada. Uh, some of our, uh, my most successful students are going to be coming. Oh, we've got a very big, very, very big treat. There's an extra little bonus surprise that everybody, I didn't tell anybody about. But you remember I was telling you a little bit about Sheldon Dietz, the gentleman who's done six deals in less than a year, full-time job, full-time family responsibilities, the whole bit. Well, Sheldon's going to be doing uh, a little presentation on how he attracts investors. He's not our main investor speaker, but he's going to be showing us uh, how he's been doing it to attract investors for his deal. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, and he's had phenomenal success for it with it, and it's something all of us can do very, very easily. He's doing it in Grand Prairie. That's a small town as well. So anywhere you're at, this will work. So every time I've said it, this is going to be our best rental summit yet. This definitely will be. Each one just keeps getting better. So it doesn't matter if you've been to one before or this is your very first rental and profit summit. I highly recommend that you come out. Kamloops is beautiful this time of year, especially compared to Edmonton or Fort McMurray or Fort St. John or... Winnipeg or Toronto. We might have a little bit of the white stuff around, but it'll probably be right around zero to plus four, plus five. That's the norm this time of year. So can't much beat that in Canada for the end of January. Plus, we're going to have a lot of fun and have three solid days of great uh, rent own education. So I want to thank everybody for being on the call. Take a quick look, see if we've got some questions. Uh, what do we got here? It looks like Wagner might have, might have uh, done some of these. Let's see here. So we've got a question here from Joe. With the higher option fee that Sheldon received, how did that affect the way he structured his deal? Uh, again, we could talk about this right on site with Sheldon because that's what he's going to be talking about, these kind of things in at the actual event. So that's going to be – it's not all just about me uh, teaching you my stuff. It's how other people just like you – have taken what they've learned with me and really taken it to the next level. So, uh, or or just made it work for them in their situation, tweaked it slightly, and, and they're doing all the things. So, a huge part of this is the whole networking component, getting the mix, mingle, and get to know some other very very cool people around the country who are, who are doing this business. All right, everybody, thank you very much for spending your Thursday evening with us. Take care, and I hope to see you in beautiful Kamloops, BC. Uh, at the end of the month. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody.